Hello, my name is Dave Rigg and I'm the Chief Operating Officer here at Bombora. And today I'm going to take you on a virtual tour of our assembly site. So here we are, it's a lovely day here at, uh, at Mainstay. Mainstay are one of our suppliers. We're in their yard today and behind me you can see the main structure for our first full-scale wave energy converter, a machine that we call M-Wave. Now this will be a very large machine. In total it will be 75 meters long and 20 meters wide. And this structure behind me in total weighs 500 tons and, and all the steel fabrication that you see here has been conducted um, by our local supply chain here in Pembroke Dock. But crucially, we will also meet members of the team. So follow me. Now we are going to go into Mainstay's Workshop 8 to have a closer look at the assembly work. Here we have the power takeoff unit. Another large structure, once fully assembled, it will weigh 86 tonnes. The majority of the steel fabrication here was done by Mainstay here in this workshop. At the front of this structure we have the turbine and it's the turbine that captures the pneumatic energy from the cell modules. The turbine is connected to a generator and of course it's the generator that creates the electrical power. So now we're going to walk over to the cell modules and have a look at them. This structure that you see behind me is called a cell module. Uh, this was manufactured by uh, another member of our supply chain, uh, a local company, Altrad. And the first thing that strikes you about the cell module, that it is very large. It weighs, uh, well, it will weigh 70 tonne when, when fully assembled. We have four of these cell modules within the machine. M-Wave at peak capacity will generate one and a half megawatts. So not only is it the biggest wave energy machine in the UK, but it's actually the biggest wave energy machine ever built in the world. So it really is a big deal for us, it's a big deal for Wales, and it's, uh, it's going to be a real landmark for the sector as a whole. So this cell module, if you can imagine the uh, top of it is, is clearly facing upwards, and over the top of that cell module we will stretch a rubber membrane. That membrane is flexible, and as the waves roll over it, the membrane will expand and contract and in doing so it pumps air through these valves that you, you'll see um, over in front of me over there. Those valves direct the airflow through the central ducting that runs through the uh, main structure of the machine and then that air turns the turbine, turns the generator which is within the, the power takeoff unit that we looked at earlier and ultimately that's what generates the electricity. So from here, we're going to walk over to meet Madeline, our project manager, and she'll take you through some of the testing that we've been doing. So we have the cell modules here now, and we've been uh, testing the uh, sensors, etc., and the operation of the cell module before the membrane goes on, and then after the membrane goes on, we do further testing. And behind me here, we have the PTO stab system testing, which is the testing of the electrical connection to the turbine and generator. This needs to have a range of motion as the connection needs to be made at sea. So we're testing the, the ranges of motion and operation of this at the moment. So the Mora team are working on the testing today behind me. Let's go and meet them. Hi, my name is uh, Oshan Rees. Uh, I grew up just up the road in, in Ceredigion. Uh, I went off to, to Bristol University to study engineering and uh, Bombora has given me a fantastic opportunity to, to come home and to ply my trade on this groundbreaking project that we have here in Pembroke Dock. I've spent just over a year here at Bombora, starting with a, a short placement and then extending that into a full-time contract. What we have in front of us here is the power takeoff unit electrical connection system. And what this system allows us to do is to engage and disengage the electronics when we're subsea. This rig that we're stood under at the moment is um, a system that we've set up onshore to allow us to test the system, to check the tolerances and the robustness of the system before we go and do the real thing under the water. Hi, my name's Joe. I'm CAD engineer here at Bombora. I've been here for about 18 months now. Prior to that, I worked away in England, uh, came back and had the opportunity to live and work back in Wales, in Pembrokeshire. Um, I actually did an apprenticeship here at Mainstay, um, where we are now, uh, and part, as part of that I studied at Pembrokeshire College uh, to do an HNC in mechanical engineering. So today I am 
working on the CAD model. Uh, this is a model of the cell module, which is what we can see behind me. Today we're assembling various parts um, and doing some tests on, on various elements. So the, the fork ram, which is on the other side, and uh, assembling the transition duct system, as you can see here as well. Okay, so now we're on the uh, row row slipway, which we will use for the final phases of the project. The modules that we saw over at Mainstay's yard will be brought round to the top of the slipway, we'll fully assemble the machine, and then uh, with trailers and some additional buoyancy and a high tide, we'll load the machine out off the slipway into Milford Haven. At that point, the machine will weigh 850 tonnes and it will be 75 metres long, 20 metres wide. We'll tow the, uh, the device through Milford Haven around the Angle Peninsula and then we will install it on the seabed in about 15 metres of water. So throughout the course of this project, we will have established a, a very capable supply chain here in Pembrokeshire. Um, and we intend to use that same supply chain for our future projects. So we're working with the port at the moment to establish an assembly and export centre, which we will use for servicing those, those future projects. And our technology and the, the marine energy industry in general offers our traditional industries, the steel fabrication industry and the shipbuilding industry, the ability to diversify and, and reduce their reliance upon the oil and gas industry and maintain those, those critical skills that, that, that we've used so successfully on this project. But we will also be bringing new skills to the area. Our control system incorporates very sophisticated health monitoring systems and we'll be using AI in the future to optimize the performance of our machine. Hi, I'm Tim James, Head of Commercial and Energy at the Port of Milford Haven. I first met Bombora in 2016 whilst discussing the potential of Pembroke Dock as part of the Welsh offer. It's been fantastic to see this business establish its European headquarters in the town, prove their technological concept in the dockyard and ingrain themselves in the community through the use of the local supply chain whilst committing to the next generation of engineers through their outreach work like the Bombora Challenge Cup. My name is Charlotte Wood and I'm the Business Development and Marketing Manager here at Mainstay Marine Solutions in Pembroke Dock on the Milford Haven Waterway. Mainstay are traditionally work boat builders and servicing specialists, but in 2014 we entered into the marine renewable energy marketplace as well. As one of Wales' leading marine energy fabricators, we have benefited greatly from the growth in the sector, having built four innovative prototyping projects to date, with the fifth project due to start imminently. Securing contracts like the build of the mainframe and other additional components for the M-Wave device for Bombora has been key to enabling us to provide good quality, secure employment for our workforce. So with electricity demand expected to double by 2050 and the global imperative that we have to reduce carbon emissions, we at Bombora are really proud to be delivering technology that will contribute towards that net zero ambition.